Okay guys, hi and welcome to my first ever vlog. Vlog. That's such a brilliant word and I have been sat practicing these trying to get the right speeds of my webcam sorted by just repeatedly saying vlog. So I actually have five videos of my mouth moving and hearing the words like vlog 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 vlog. And now I'm saying frog. And now I'm going to stop talking. You wouldn't believe that I haven't had a drink, would you? Anyway, I don't know how well this is going to go, but I'm trying it out. Paris is currently off policing Bristol, as you can tell, because if he was here and his police kit was here, I would be doing this in a nipple hat, because the nipple hats are fucking amazing. This is one thing that people actually don't laugh at me as much as I thought they would when I say that I want to join the police. I mean, they're a bit like, ah, ha, ha, yeah, do you really think that you could do the police? You know, you'd have to have confrontation and I run as fast as humanly possible away from any confrontation and they'll put me up against some big scary drunk bloke who'll just be there like fuck off smush with a little finger <laughs> he's a posh one but I but yeah, I think it'd be quite cool I think I could be an awesome police officer not just because I'd rock the police officer uniform although I'd look like a little girl playing dress up but I don't get a nipple hat. Okay, how unfair is this? Women's police uniform, I don't get a nipple hat. I get a flat, oh, no, I didn't even get a flat cap. I get a stupid, like, bonnet cap, which just looks absolutely terrible. If you really want to have a woman police officer that is intimidating, give her a nipple hat, because it will give her, like, six extra inches and put them in heels. So that's your heels can do shitloads of damage. And I'm sorry, but if you could chase some bloke down the street in stiletto heels, then you can blatantly kick his ass. Because... They fucking hurt to run in. I'm not sure how people dance in them. I just about manage it when you're just kind of bobbing about on a club, no? Like. Anyway, yeah. I originally thought when I start telling people that I want to join the police, they would be all like, oh, but you're five foot two and you're so little and you weigh like seven and a half stone. You can't do bugger all. That's not true. I can. All else fails, I just gnaw on their ankles a little bit. Um, they'd probably surrender if some police officer just like threw themselves to the floor and started like chewing on their ankles. So. I'm kind of sat here and have been since 3 o'clock, bored out of my skull, although the only thing I did do was go down to work and be like, why didn't you pay me? And they're like, it's your fault. And I'm like, bugger off, no it's not. Um, that and sleep, sit around in my dressing gown for like five hours, spend two hours getting dressed, doing my hair, doing my makeup. I need to remember I'm not actually going out anywhere, I'm going to work and not even going to work as in people are going to see me in work and think, oh, she represents this company. It's work. Give me my money. Um, so yeah, I spent absolutely ages getting ready for no reason. Not that you can tell because my stupid fringe. I'm cousin it. I make an amazing cousin it. Moving swiftly on. Where was I? I can't remember what I was talking about now. I'm crap at these. I should really script them before I start doing them, but it's my first try. So, you know, you get to stare at my ugly mug while I talk at you. I'm bitch. A bit. I spent absolutely ages getting ready to do absolutely nothing today, but then, as a girl, it's my prerogative to spend hours getting ready because it makes me feel a little bit better at my, about myself. Um, I'm also glowing white today. That will be fixed because I'm in Turkey in two weeks. Woo! Rub it in, bitches. So, I actually can't wait to be in Turkey. I am ridiculously excited. Um, it's going to be me and the Paris and Paris's parents and his sister and his sister's friend and his granny and it's going to be amazing and I'm going to go scuba diving and swim with the fishes and I'll be going just keep swimming just keep swimming what do we do we swim 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 oh, oh, oh. oh god I just sang at the microphone oh yeah I'm currently doing a detox day because I am going on an exercise and diet thing to get back my tummy because I used to have a very nicely toned stomach and then I went to university ate lots of crap and now it's flabby so it's going before I have to get in a bikini and show it to everybody probably won't work but I figured I may as well give it a go so today I decided to do a big detox day you know get all the crap out of my system before I start doing an actual exercise and diet plan um, detox failed cheddars these little bastards cheddars they broke my detox Paris eats tons of them and has got me addicted and oh my god they are fucking amazing especially with Philadelphia on them so yeah that kind of broke my detox that and I really want a corona tonight I don't know why I just really have a craving for a corona so if anybody I don't know if anybody's actually tried doing like a diet or detox I expect everybody has at some point it's one of those things that you kind of have to do at some point I suck at them really really suck like I love doing exercise and I did karate for like four years or something like that 
Um, that was really, really high intensive workout. But it's the eating that I can't do. I have got the biggest sweet tooth ever and I absolutely adore anything with sugar in it. And the diet that I'm on has told me that I'm not allowed to have sugar. So I don't think this diet is going to last and I'm probably going to end up, you know, not getting my stomach out at all in Turkey. Just wearing a big baggy t-shirt over it. And then I'll still be pasty pale. None of that matters because I'm going to be pasty pale anyway because I go red and then white and I never get a nice happy medium of a tan sad that's why i never go to a sunbed i know it wouldn't work it would just waste all my money and when i tried fake tan i did manage to give myself tan strap lines it was a spray tan could have just taken the bra off no i thought i'm going to make it look more natural and but yeah just i might bring out another one before turkey probably won't i'll be too busy packing yes i have like two weeks and two days to go until i leave for turkey and i have already started packing I also have a packing book. Look! Sandback Adventurer coming through. My travel ramblings. Amazing book. Actually love it. Buy them.